Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you are doing fantastic. And today I got a package in from Sportsman's Guide. But before we get into it, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Ring the notification bell so you do get notified when I upload new content. And with that, friends, let's do it. Okay, so we got us a package from Sportsman's Guide. This was actually some things that I ordered from them, and if you are unfamiliar with Sportsman's Guide, I will have a link to their website in the description box of this video. And I really suggest you go check them out. They're sort of a discount club that sells all kinds of outdoor gear, even firearms and ammo. And you can join on like a yearly basis, and then they give you a little club discount which is actually nice and they run a lot of promotional things and it's one of those kind of websites that I pop into all the time just to see what kind of items they have on sale or you know special items that they that they brought to the uh, website so with that as the title and in the thumbnail I put that this is some really cool items that I received or that I purchased that I'm going to show you guys and we're going to take a look at I think it's going to be something that, it's something I found really interesting anyway. And, oh yeah. Okay. It's called Reaper Defense is the company. And they, they make these really interesting 12 gauge, uh, I, th I believe all these are two and three quarter, two and three quarter shells. But they got all these different kind of shells that uh, I wanted to show you guys because it just it blew my mind some of the, the names and and everything and oh wait a minute I did have some other stuff in here too okay okay cool we'll talk about that here in just a minute all right so let's go with the the plastic ones okay the company again is called Reaper Defense these are all 12 gauge two and three quarter shells yes they're all two and three quarter okay these are this is called a beehive okay beehive hopefully you can you can see that it'll focus and you can see that this has 20 32 caliber rubber balls per shot Whew. talk about a beehive it's a beehive because man you get hit with 23 rubber pellets that is not going to be a good day for you so these would definitely be some you know non-lethal uh self-defense rounds so this, this is interesting. So these are called Beehive, okay, and there's another one. And okay, here's, here's the other one. It's a triple ball round. And these are three 72 caliber rubber balls. Hopefully it shows up. Well, let's see how easy it is to get these things out. Oh, it's not easy. Oh, okay, it's not hard at all. All right, it's very easy to open these packages. Okay, so let's check this out. Man, look at that. Woo! Man, I would not want to get hit with those. Let's see. And you can see there on the end, you can see the the rubber ball, and you can kind of, you know, I mean, it's clear, so you can see the three three uh, rubber balls in there. Man, that is crazy. I wouldn't want to get hit with this either. Whoo! I would not want to get hit with that. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Let me go back to the beehive. Let me take. Let me open this one up. So yeah, you know, when you think home defense. You know, you know, obviously, you know, shotgun's going to be going to be the jammy jam, and these are definitely some shells to, you know, consider. And like I said, all these are from Reaper Defense, and they come from, or at least the place you can readily get them is Sportsman's Guide. Okay, so those are our two uh, non-lethal rubber. Let's see. Let's let's take the least exciting first. Okay, this is called the triple decker. This is nine large, just man, just nine large lead, like it says lead balls, but they're yeah. Uh, it says three large bead balls. I couldn't read it when the package was closed, but those are definitely lead lead pellets. And there's nine of them. And it's interesting that they're segregated in there. Like, I don't know, hopefully that'll show up good. In, but they, they've got these plastic, like, divider rings in there 
to keep them to keep them segregated when you fire them. And of course, all these are really made to go into a smooth bore shotgun, not a not a rifled, obviously. Okay, so that is the triple decker. Then let's see, we got. I'm gonna save them for last. Man, these are all cool. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do these. Terminator X. Terminator X. This is a hollow core slug that expands two inches upon impact. Woo! Woo! Look, oh, it's got. Oh my God! Wow, well, look at that slug in there. And then it's got pellets in front of it. Man. Well, it's got a weird shape though. It's got a weird shape to it. Hopefully, hopefully that shows up. It doesn't say how many of these pellets there are. There's a lot of them though. So you're gonna get peppered with the pellets first, then then the big then the big slugs coming at you. And it has kind of that that bell shape. So I'm assuming when it hits, it's gonna it's gonna you know it's gonna mushroom out a little bit. So that's what's probably gonna give you that 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 real big expansion because it necks down like this. So as it hits, that energy is gonna gonna make it mushroom out. Yeah. Whew. That that's that's man, that's that's rough. That is rough. Okay, then we got one called the pit bull. And this is just some double aught buck with a heavy duty slug. I wish it gave me the weights on the slugs. If are all the slugs then they can't be. They can't be all the same the same weight. Whew. Boy, look at the head of that thing. Good lord. Okay. Hopefully, like I said, man, I hope I hope this is coming in good that you guys can really can really see the craziness of these of these shells. Any of these shells. You know, obviously I wouldn't want to get hit with anything, but man, I would not want to get hit with any of this stuff. It's crazy. Okay, so that is the pit bull. Okay, then we got the Rhodesian jungle. Large pellets surrounded by smaller pellets. Okay, so this is just a mix. This is just a mix of pellets. Yeah, it's just a bunch. It's just a bunch of little small pellets with some lead, some bigger, you know, kind of the same size as like the triple decker pellets. It looks like. But yeah, that's whew, man. I can't say it enough. These are some crazy shotgun rounds. Okay. Okay, and then I save kind of the best for last. These are called exploders. And the slug is hollowed out to fit a, you can put, I've seen guys on YouTube put a 22 caliber blank from like an, uh, a, 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 a firing gun into here. And, and, and the, the slug actually has, it has, you know, not, not fins, I guess, but it does have, it, it has kind of like fins for stabilization and it, and they do work. I mean, I, I've, I've watched YouTube videos of them and you can see there the end is hollowed out. So you can put whatever in there and you can put a 22, yeah, a 22, uh, down in there and pray that it doesn't you know that it, it you know in its flight it stays stable and, and hits you know and hits properly like it's supposed to so it will ignite that and then you'll get whatever surprise you you kind of hit in there so yeah that's really cool these 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 rounds man they just tickle me to death you know with the names and then the variety you know because normally Shotgun shells, you know, your, your variety is not, you know, it's not out there. Nothing like, nothing like all of these. I mean, this is, this is really, these are really some crazy, crazy, crazy shotgun shells. Okay, and I forgot about some other stuff, because when I was getting this stuff, I just kind of tacked on some other things, because you know how it is when you're browsing, uh, you know, a, a website, and you just kind of perusing around, you start seeing things that catch your eye, and I bought another box of 300 some SIG 300 uh, subsonic, 300 blackout subsonic, uh, 220 grain. So yeah, I bought them because I just recently built a 300 blackout to do to run a can 
when we do our matches, our gas gun, I want to use this instead of my normal, you know, my normal AR, uh, my 223. I'm going to use this 300 blackout. So, yeah. So, I just picked up another thing of these, and then I, f I completely forgot about these. I bought a box of 454 Casul. Now, you might ask, why did I buy a box of 454 Casul? Well, my main primary defense here at my home is a Taurus Raging Judge. And I got the, there's two variants of, of the gun. It's a short, you have like a, I don't want to call it a snub nose, but it's very, very short. And then you have a real, a big frame. I got the big frame gun. And that gun, like the smaller one, will shoot 454 Casul. It will shoot 45 Colt, and it will shoot 410 shotgun shells. And currently, I have loaded in it 410 shotgun shells. I, I run the, what is it? It's the PDX-1. Uh, I think it's critical home defense rounds. That's what I have loaded in it right now. And it's, oh, I should have looked it up. Well, I didn't know. But anyway, I think it's it shoots like three like disc projectiles. I want to say it was like three like nine millimeter size disc projectiles with like a dozen pellets behind it. And obviously the whole point is one pull. It's, it's a lot of projectiles going out. And that's kind of why I did that. So, but I got these, let's see, what did I get? What did I get? What did I get? These are 240 grain XTP. Okay, so what did I say? Two, 240? Okay, these are 240 grain. Okay, so yeah, that's that's a 454 Casul. And like I said, you can shoot 45 Colt out of this, you know, the gun. Because actually, 45 Colt, you know, as far as a projectile, it's, it's really the same thing. It just has more powder in it. Uh, this, the 454 Casul, obviously having uh, more powder will, I think you'll get, it don't tell me, right? Does it tell me the FPS? It does. Okay, so at 50 yards, you get 1678 out of this, and at, that, at 100 yards, you get 1478. Right at the muzzle, you get 1900. So this is, this is, that's very fast. That's very fast for a projectile uh, this big. And I think out of a 45 Colt, I think at the muzzle, you're going to get what? You're, I think you're going to get almost 1,000 feet per second less. I don't, I don't think a, a 45 Colt will break 1,000 feet, right? If I remember right. Yeah, because the 45 Colt, it, it, it's it's not a fast round. It's not a fast round at all, which is why I got the 454 Casul because you know all that extra powder you know is able to push the projectile up to 1,900 feet per second at the muzzle. And I really love that particular. I like that particular platform. Uh, I have a lot of fun with it, and like I said, it is one of my main sort of home defense choices, and. It's literally that that platform. It's it's a big solid piece of stainless steel. That's all that that thing is. It, it's 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 a hunk. It, it's yeah. Has to be though, you know, to handle the pressure, the pressure that you're gonna get from especially this round right here. Okay, so that's all I got, guys. I just wanted to really show you these crazy Reaper defense rounds. If you've never heard of them, you know, maybe you want to check them out. And like I said, I will have a link to Sportsman's Guide in the website below, especially if you've never heard of that website. I know a lot of you probably have, and you're probably members, and you've probably been buying from them, but if you haven't, definitely go check them out. They're definitely worth, you know, considering, and just when you're, when you're browsing around, just, just hit them up, check them out. You know, they, they run in line with, like, Cheaper Than Dirt or Midway, you know, something like that. Now, you're not going to find, you know, as big of an option because they do sell, like, I buy, I, I've actually bought, I have a case down here of MREs that I'm going to do a video on. I got from them, they're the, what are they, they're the uh, humanitarian rations. I got them for like 40, 45 bucks a case, really cheap. And the things come in there and they come and go. So, just because something's there today, you know, if it sells out, they run out of stock, they, they won't have it anymore, so you have to wait. So, that's just one of the kind of downfalls. But, if you, like I said, you know, check it every couple of days. You can generally pick up some good stuff. I picked up a lot of knives on really good prices. They're actually some of the knives back in the channel that I've 
that I've shown on here came from from them when they were either on sale or on clearance and I got something for a really really good price okay so if you made it this far appreciate you hanging out with me and watching me ramble and get really overly excited about some 12 gauge two and three quarter shotgun shells but yeah, these things these things to me man they're really awesome and yeah we're gonna have a lot of fun with them so yeah if you made it this far thank you make sure you're subscribed to the channel and with that i hope you have a wonderful day hope you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up and with that i'm out of here we'll see you next time peace